Hi there, <coughs> I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel, and this is the lighter side of Black Bright, and we're talking about Love Island. And today is Sunday, the 9th of February, and we are talking about the um, what's happened between Shauna and Callum and Molly. Uh, we have Finn and Paige being boyfriend and girlfriend officially. We have Shanice looking extremely sexy for Luke T. And yeah, so let's start at the beginning as usual. So we've got Shauna. Um, what I didn't like is that she was telling Molly that he used her until someone better came in. That's really, really bitchy because that wasn't the truth. And the thing is, with any kind of relationship, especially when it's new, you you either feel it or you don't. Sometimes if you don't feel it, you're trying to feel it. You know, sometimes you even make excuses to feel it. But a lot of times, you know, sometimes you're fortunate enough that chemistry is instantaneous. That wasn't the case with Callum and Shauna. He was trying to like her. They got uncomfortable, but comfortable doesn't mean that there was any chemistry. He didn't lie to her. He just said to her, we get on OK. You know, you make me laugh. What was that? He didn't propose undying love. So how did he lie? The thing is, what some people don't understand, feelings change. When you're in a relationship with somebody, you might, you might like them a lot, you might fall in love with them, and then certain behaviours can turn you off over a period of time. When you're in the villa for that short space of time, you know, you might feel for somebody in that instant. I mean, there's nothing better to do in the villa. You've only got women walking around in bikinis everybody probably looks attractive to somebody who hasn't got anyone so the, the feelings can genuinely develop but you don't know how they're developing until you've got something else to compare it with and that's what happened with Callum he was fine with Shauna and his feelings were genuine with Shauna but it wasn't until he went to Casa Amor and met Molly that he realised, hey, hang on a minute, I'm much more affectionate with Molly. I actually want to see Molly with her clothes off. I actually want to touch Molly. I actually want to open up with Molly. I didn't, I didn't want to do that with Shauna. And the thing is, Callum had already admitted that he hadn't been in a serious relationship before Love Island. So he's got nothing to compare it with. So Shauna, give him a bloody break. He's done nothing wrong. If you wanted to take it on that you thought you were both on the same page, that is your problem. Like you said, if you had followed his actions instead of his words, you would have known that you were not on the same page and he didn't mislead you. So that's Shauna and Callum. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen between Callum and Molly after her talk with Shauna, because now Molly's left thinking that Callum is a liar, that he might trade her in for a newer model if somebody else comes in, that he's disingenuous. And she, I'm not quite sure how she's feeling it with Callum now. And Callum didn't come over as very strong in front of Molly, not very assertive. And I think it's times like this, it's fine being wishy-washy when, you know, when you're kind of sure of what you're doing. But it's not good, at, at, it's not good being wishy-washy when you're trying to reassure somebody and convince somebody that you are, that you have integrity. And he does have integrity. So we'll have to see how that one pans out. I've got a funny feeling it won't. I've got a funny feeling somebody else will come into Villa and Molly will be off. Um, what else? And wasn't she rubbing it in to Shauna? I mean, Shauna is having a hard time anyway. And then she said, oh, within three days, he was rubbing my arms. He was making me breakfast and he opened up to me emotionally. Does Shauna really want to hear that? I thought that was really unkind. And I don't think it needed to be said. All she needed to say is that, you know, we got on well together. She didn't have to go into any detail. So I don't trust that bloody Molly. I'm not saying Shauna's wonderful, 
but she didn't need that. She didn't need having her nose rubbed in it. Um, Shanice, oh, didn't she look bloody amazing in that little, what did she call it? I don't even know what she called it. But bloody hell, I mean, Luke T was mesmerised. I mean, he even said he wasn't even sure whether he could touch it. And I thought, that's, the, you know, every every time I see Luke T, he grows up in my estimation. He is so respectful and considerate and tender. He, ah, honestly. And then he looked so sexy when he was dancing to Sean Paul. I don't like his wide trainers on that he had on at the end, though. They were a bit thick and horrible. But putting that aside, <laughs> I'm being petty now. Luke T. I mean, those. I think that couple is really, really great and genuinely like each other. So I love that. And I love the way Shanice got dressed. I mean, did you see the guy's faces drop open? They're like, they couldn't believe it. They must have thought, you lucky devil. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was good. Um, I'm not sure whether Luke T should have said that she got naked. I don't think that was necessary. don't think you needed to go into that much detail. But hey, um, I'm not quite sure she told the girls that. But I've got a funny feeling it's going to get out because Finn told Paige. And now Paige is going to tell... Shanice, and then Shanice is going to say, why did you open up your big mouth? That's between you and me. I, You know, are you that immature? And blah, and it can get out of hand. So, um, yeah, I don't think he should have said that. I think he should have kept that part to himself. But boys will be boys, and girls will be girls. Uh, let me see. Um... What else about? Oh, Luke M. You know what he needs to what he needs to look out for. He needs to notice when he pairs up with a girl how touchy feely she is. If she's touchy feeling, touchy feely, that means she's into him. He must stop making excuses and saying, "Oh, she's overwhelmed." Oh, she's this, and oh, you know, she's taking it slow, and oh, I understand. He did the same to bloody Jess. And now look what happened. And you see how happy she is now. Now, once she told him, she's making out like all bloody tearful. The next minute, she looks as bright as rain. And the thing is, what I don't think, I don't think he should have got out of that bloody bed and slept on the sofa. She should have done. That's, that's, that's what I mean. He needs to assert himself. That wouldn't have been unkind because she came into the villa under false pretenses as far as I'm concerned. She must have known that there was no physical attraction when she met him. You know, it's either there or it's not. So for me, she should have slept on the sofa downstairs. He must stop being the nice guy and start thinking about himself because people will pee all over him. Um, what else was there? Oh, Paige and Finn, now boyfriend and girlfriend. Well, that was inevitable, I guess. And he fumbled a lot. But yeah, I think, I think they're good. I mean, he's only 20, for Christ's sake. I mean, and they live far. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. But for now, it's good. And it's sincere. And I believe it's genuine. Um, Jess and Ched, to me, they don't suit at all. I don't even see how the conversation flows. I mean, OK, talking about whether or not women are, um, whether or not he's a chauvinist or whatever. It just seems such a forced conversation. It doesn't seem, it doesn't, I don't know. It's probably just me. I think she flowed better with Mike. But her and Ched, I just don't get it. I, I don't see any compatibility there at all. None. I think I see forced compatibility, but that ain't going to last two minutes. Somebody else comes in, she's gone. And Sean Paul, God, and he put on weight. But yeah, I mean, he lined up the villa and that was good. You saw, you see them black man move door. <laughs> oh, I love the little bit of dancing that they did. That was amazing. And the girls, they were so sexy. But yeah, do you see Callum? He he can't. He ain't got no moves at all. Don't know what planet he's on. 
don't know where he's been, but I mean, even Luke Tebow could could do a little move, bust a little move. But yeah, they were bloody bloody good. I really like that, and um, I don't think I don't think it lasted long enough. I can't believe that they would fly Sean Paul all the way to South Africa, not unless he was already in South Africa, just for a few minutes. But who knows? Um, I think. I think that's all I've got to say, really. It didn't really end on a high note, did it? How did it end? Just shows you. Couldn't have ended that bloody great. I can't even remember how it ended. Hmm, I really can't. Oh, well. Until tomorrow night. Have a wonderful evening. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you want to know more about Love Island, if you want to know about the other things I talk about, you can subscribe about that too. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.